Hello and welcome to the Sunday Afternoon Modular. In this video we want to have a look at the different signal levels to understand why output modules are needed for certain scenarios. An output module is helpful if you want to record your modular synth and connect it to your audio interface, or if you're in a live situation and want to connect your modular synth to a DJ mixer or a PA system. We are now going to see some different volt levels. Don't nail me on them, they are just the most common, but that does not mean that the level can't be higher or lower. It also depends on the product. Now within a modular synth we normally have 5 volts. Maybe you also stumbled over the term 10 ppv. This means peak to peak voltage, which is minus 5 to plus 5 volts. If we now look on the line level, we see that there are two different ones. One is the consumer level, like your stereo system or CD player at home, and the other one is professional line level, which can be a DJ mixer. Now you already see that with the 5 volts of a modular synth, we are quite above the professional line level, and even more above the consumer line level. So the signal coming from a modular synth would be what we call a hot signal. Going directly into an audio interface or DJ mixer could damage the device, because it is not expecting such a hot signal. I heard from people that they are just using an attenuator before going into an audio interface or DJ mixer, and that this is working fine for them. Also, many audio interfaces do have a pad button, which also works like an attenuator with a fixed value. However, I still would recommend an output module that brings down the modular synth signal to a proper line signal. Now for the inputs. Maybe you want to connect a microphone or an electric guitar to your modular synth to get some cool voice or guitar effects with your modules. As you can see, the instrument level is very low, the typical mic level even lower. So you need quite some amplification here, and this is what an input module does. You want to amplify the signal to the proper level without destroying it. There are different modules suitable for line, instrument or mics, and also modules that can handle all three signals. So dependent on what you want to connect, you can choose the right module. Now let's quickly go to guitar effect pedals. As you can see, the instrument level is by far lower than the level of a modular synth. Guitar effect pedals are made for guitars, so they expect an instrument level. Coming directly with a hot signal from a modular synth could damage the effect pedal. It can also result in a bad sound, because the pedal can't handle the incoming signal. Here you also have modules that help you out with an effect return. So first they lower the signal, so it is suitable for the effect pedals, and coming back in, it will get amplified to the modular synth level again. In any case, I would recommend to get the right modules for input as well for output situations. It is definitely worth it. That was it with the signal levels, I hope this video was interesting for you. As always, if you like what I'm doing and want to support my channel, leave a like and subscribe. See you next time on the...